Hello there, John with you again and it's time now for another unboxing. This is the fourth uh, build in my little series on uh, classic old Tamiya German uh, armour kits. Uh, number one we did the uh, Panzer IV, we did uh, the Tiger I just after putting up the uh, Tiger II, which is the, the King Tiger. And now we're on to a new one. Yes, a new one. This is the uh, 20mm Fleck Verling SDKFZ71. Okay, there we go. That's the kit. Uh, yes, it is an old classic kit. Uh, this is one well, of the actual old ones. Um, it has been re released again this year, 2020. It's becoming a, a, new, a new release. Um, it says on scale mates that there's new parts added, but they are new pieces added, but they don't know what. And uh, to be honest with you, I don't know what either because I've seen an unboxing of the new one, and I don't see any difference. It doesn't look as if there's anything new. There might be sort of the, the, the moles might have been you know cleaned up a bit, so therefore because they probably got so old that they were leaving flash every time. So they probably just uh, redid the moles. And that's about as much as they've done, because everything else is basically the same. Even the figures are are, are still the same, uh, but they look the same anyway. They might be uh, say the newer type of figures where they actually have heels and boots. That's a it's an old telltale giveaway when it comes to old to me figures. So, without further ado, let's go down to the bench, let's get this unboxed, and uh, we'll have a look at what you get for your money, okay? Okay, so here we are down at the bench, and it's time to have a look at this thing. Alright, this is the box art, it's just a sort of picture of the, uh, an artist's impression of the, uh, the vehicle. On a plain white background. Okay, it says German 8 ton semi track, 20 millimeter Fleck Verling SDKF Z71. It's a 135th scale military miniatures series number 50. Five realistic figures wearing winter uniform, movable gun barrels and gun base, plentiful accessory parts ready to assemble precision model kit. Okay. And I love, love this little bit here. Modeling skills helpful if under 10 years of age. <laughs> under 10. Anyway, there's the box. And as you can see, that this box is sort of, sort of like myself to a certain degree. It's seen better days. It's a bit battered and bruised and a bit, uh, a bit rough around the edges. <laughs> sure, aren't we all? Aren't we all? Well, I am anyway. I'll speak for myself. I won't speak for you. So that's basically the box art. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. On the side, it gives us uh, loads of Japanese writing. A couple of pictures there of the uh, the flak furling in its uh, transport mode, and it's in sort of set down firing mode, and also shows the ordinary SDKF Z7. On the side there, it gives us the uh, a couple of. Um, kits available from uh, from Tamiya at the time. We've got a Panzer III, Panther, um, the Matilda, KV-1 and uh, an M10 tank destroyer. Okay, so uh, like I said this kit is from the 70s. Um, some of the moulds I think are 72 with the original mould which was for the uh, of this one and then they come up with this version here then in 1975 um, and like I said it's been uh, redone again this year now the instructions are a big pull out sheet and as you can see from the instructions a bit of yellowing and all that on it so it's uh, quite elderly like myself and uh, we'll have a look at all of them who are actually going through the parts Okay, we get a bag of sprues here with uh, our figures. We have another small bag with uh, two sprues in that. We have a bag here with um, our wheels, some polycaps, our rubber tracks, and we've got uh, another sprue then with uh, more parts. 
and we've got our base okay our base chassis and we've got some wheels and some bars so what I'm going to do is I am going to open all the plastic and then we come back and we'll actually look at the parts themselves okay okay so I'm gonna start at the start I'm gonna start with sprue A right um, we'll give it a nice kind of a, a good going over um, I'm not too interested in the names of the parts okay it's more condition looking for flash looking for quality of molding and uh, you know the amount of parts that are on it and are they nice are they nicely done are they nicely molded and uh, you know is it nice plastic well start off it is nice plastic okay it's not that uh, rubbery bendy type stuff um, so there's a couple of bits and pieces <laughs> parts you know we got suspension parts and uh, all that for underneath okay there's the holders for our wheels and all that right. Um, then we've got a steering wheel, um, other cab parts. Um, we seem to have the, uh, the the gear shifter and that kind of stuff. With the hood or the bonnet or whatever you want to call it. With the front of the vehicle there, the um, the grill, side panels for the engine deck. There's the, uh, the, the the cab. Right, we got more parts there. And like I said, I don't know what these parts are. If I, what I do know, I call them out. We got seats. Quite easy to figure out what seats are. Right, our uh, our our instrument panel, and what appears to be uh, our fuel containers. But as you can see, they're actually quite nice. They're quite nicely molded. Um, there is a date on it, okay. And if we can figure it out, it tells us 1972, okay. So this piece here would be um, the same for whether you're building the uh, ordinary SDK FZ7 or the uh, the flak Verlink version of it, okay. So that's that's spruce. Sprue B has our wheels, and it's usually Sprue A has got the wheels, but this time it's Sprue B. Okay, we've got uh, all our parts for the for the half track. Okay, for the for the tracked part of it. Anyway, um, probably got the uh, ordinary wheels on it as well, is it? No, I don't think so. Okay, so um, we've got our drive sprockets and our main road wheels okay now quite nicely molded aren't they they are very nicely molded there's no flash even in the holes there you know they're they're they're, they're nicely um bored through okay so there's a way there's our, our drive sprockets and um they could be the road wheels those ones there because they look like the idlers so there's probably the inners for the road wheels Although looking at the uh, the drawing of it on the front, it gives shows the road wheels of uh, as having kind of spoked detail on them. Now whether they are the road wheels or not, I do not know. But we've got um, you know that more looks like the the road wheel. But uh, there's there's our bits anyway. There's our wheels. Okay, that is Sprue B. Sprue C, there's a big chunk missing out of that there, and that's this piece here, which is the, uh, the canopy all nicely pulled back for the, for the for the driver's canopy. You can have it over or you can have it closed, it's up to you. Um, there's the, uh, the gun deck. Um, the, the, the drop down sides are on it. Uh, what else? Fenders. Some t 
tools and again very nicely moulded very very nicely moulded nice and crisp uh, tiny bit of flesh here on, uh, on this piece here okay so as you can see the little bit of flesh there but it's easy enough to clean up it's not good. The whole thing isn't sort of covered in flesh, which is great. Um, some more tools. Our main windscreen there. So you know everything is quite nice. You know the molding is very very nice in it. You know nice rivet detail and all that on it. Okay. So a close look there at the engine deck. There it's got some uh, that nice diamond plate and uh, very nicely moulded indeed ok that'll pick up a wash absolutely gorgeous right so let's uh, sprue C ok sprue C now I can't find a D <laughs> we do have an E and an F right so this is sprue E Right, they appear to be all sort of uh, gun parts, right? Um, very nice. We got sort of magazines there, and we've got a base for it. Is that a muzzle brake or something? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what it is. It wouldn't have a muzzle brake. It's probably the pivot, main pivot there for the uh, for the gun itself. Okay, and some parts there, boxes and things I'd, I'd say but uh, again nicely moulded uh, no flash and uh, oh, when I say no flash no, no, just as I said it a little bit of flash there that's oh, very very small uh, you know we can get over a bit of that a little bit of a quick clean up scrape of the side of a knife and, uh, that's, that's the sort of scissor Tangled up in all the other parts. We have our, uh, our our last say sprue, which is sprue F, and we've in that we've got our guns. Right, we've got our four twenty millimeter guns. Now they're not um, they're not drilled out or anything like that. And what I usually do is I just sort of drill into them just a little bit, give it a little bit of a boring out. You know, it's just enough to carry a bit of uh, a little bit of a wash in there. Um, and to make it look as if it's not kind of a solid the whole way down, just a, you don't have to go down just less than a millimeter, just the tiniest little bit. Okay, but the uh, the detail on them seems to be okay, not bad at all. You know, I am I'm, I'm not 100% familiar with the with, with the with the guns and what they should should actually look like, but uh, they look nice. They look very nice. Okay, there's our uh, our holding pieces for the guns. The uh, front armor shield again, nice, uh, nice rivet detail on that. Okay, more rivet detail there on some more parts. If you have to excuse my camera, it keeps kind of zooming in and out there. And then again, I suppose I keep moving, so that doesn't help too much. Right, so we've got all the linkages and things like that for the uh, for the gun, um, and they appear to be some seats. For the gun, for the uh, the loader, the aimer, and the fire, right? So that's the main. That's that's say all the sprue parts. Uh, we've also got this piece here now, which is our uh, main chassis. Okay, that is the main chassis for the vehicle. Um, seems to be quite nice so we're going to get some nice bit of detail underneath right you know this uh, I did spot other bits and pieces for the linkage and all that kind of stuff so you got to have a little bit of undercarriage detail on that and uh, everything else then is just going to sit on that so pretty nice okay well, that's all we got. we've got our rubber tracks Two tracks, um, fake all detail on the inside, 
which is a pity. I do like having a bit of detail on the inside. And our detail then on the outside. Right. Again, not bad at all. Okay. But I do not like the fact that there's no detail on the inside. I'd like to see some bit of, uh, you know, sort of lines at least just to show the, uh, the breaks between each of the tracks. So we've got two two tracks, okay. <coughs> we have some um, polycap type things, right? We get a piece of mesh, right? Piece of nylon mesh. Um, feels a bit softer than the uh, the mesh you'd get with um, I've noticed with the Vesda kits they give sort of mesh like that instead of uh, PE for grills and things but this is for the uh, the mesh for the sides of the um, foldy downy bits you know bits that fold down on the side the protective mesh so uh, at least it's it, it's reasonably square anyway. Um, it, it's easy enough to put on. I find if you cut it to the rough shape, sort of super glue it into place and then trim it afterwards after it's in place, rather than trying to cut it the size. I find it much harder to do it that way. So sort of rough cut it out and then uh, super glue it into place and then trim it off. It's an easy way to do it. We've got this little bag here that has our, our two wheels, they're, they're rubber wheels. I'm not going to take them off of the bag because there's a little screw and a bolt, not, or nothing bolt in there, and they might, no one might fucking look, I'd end up losing them. So I leave them in the bag until they're actually needed. And we've got two brass rods. Now, whether they are the um, main axles or not, I do not know, but they're there anyway. As this man says, we'll find out as we're building exactly what they are. Right. And we've got our decals, decals, transfers, stickers. So we get a, a close look at those. We've got lots of numbers, right? We've got some divisional marks. Uh, second SS Panzer Division, first SS Panzer Division. There are two that I know of. We've got the Totem Cop there, the Death's Head. We've got some Wehrmacht ones, um, and we've got some helmet decals there, okay, we've got uh, Wehrmacht, we've got uh, Luftwaffe, um, don't know what those ones are, we've got some SS ones as well, and we've got the other side of the SS ones, uh, those, they don't look in register at all at all the SS ones so they don't they look uh, the swastika seems to be slightly out of center on those ones right we got some but they're, they're there anyway right so there's the uh, decals the number plates divisional markings and we got some helmet markings for the figures and speaking of figures last but by no means least we have our little sprue of figures. Now, um, I think I said five figures. They're, um, they're, they're pretty basic, kind of chunky-ish. The, uh, the old, good old Tamiya, Tamiya figures. We'll probably have a date there. I don't know if we can uh, zoom into these and see where these were molded. And come on, zoom in there. Oh, he doesn't want to do it because it's white. It's very hard to zoom into white for some weird reason with this with this camera. Maybe if I just leave it still, or maybe if I don't. Yeah, it won't zoom in because purely because they're white. They're very very hard to see. But uh, it says 1970. I can't even fucking see it. I am blind as a bloody well bet. I stick on my extra little uh, things. Um, I can see it 
1978 or 1975. I think it's 1978 that's on that. But anyway, um, they're in white plastic. Um, we've got ammunition boxes there, we've got water bottles, bayonets. We've got our figures, okay. He looks a chunky man. For the size of his head anyway, he looks pretty chunky. But they're in winter u winter uniform anyway, so it is quite bulky and all that. Um, like like everything else, you won't really know until they're made and uh, as, as into how good they are or how bad they are. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, five figures, um, and we've got some uh, some shooty rifle thingies there as well. Okay, and we've got our, uh, our gas mask canisters, helmets and uh, hat. We've got three German helmets, we've got uh, one commander's cap. Uh, this guy here, he's got his hood up and everything else, so it's covering his helmet. So was this guy here actually. So we've got two guys with, the, uh, with their heads sort of covered already, so We've just got our commander then, and we've got two more, so we've got a spare helmet. Yay, we've got a spare helmet. Something I suppose you could add in there for the uh, for um, a bit of uh, storage type effect, or a uh, spare helmet for your uh, collection. Okay, so that's basically it. That's all the parts and things. Um, seems quite nice. I'd say it's going to be an enjoyable build. It looks it looks nice. Uh, recently enough there, if you go back on my channel, I did an STKF Z10, which was uh, very, very similar. It's a little bit smaller vehicle, and it only had a sort of a single gun in it, whereas this has the four, the, 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 the four guns. Um, yeah, seems quite nice. So let's have a quick look at the instructions before we go. We get a final little bit of it. We get a nice little uh, write up there on the vehicle. And then we start on our construction. Okay, and it seems we start off in making the guns themselves. Right? Uh, yeah, we start off with the guns right up until step six. And at step six, then we have the guns finished off. Then we're into the actual vehicle then itself. We've got the um, we've got the, the wheels or undercarriage like I said. We, it is gonna be a nice bit of detail there because we've an exhaust and all of that in there so you can kind of uh, weather up the bottom of it and the undercarriage and make it look pretty nice. There's a nice picture of it there. Okay, so it's pure, nicely, nice, nicely enough detailed. Um, and then more wheels adding on, building up our cab. Right. So they don't seem to be uh, too complicated. Right. So we've got step one. One. Step two. Step three. Step four. Five. And six. That's our gun med. Right. Step seven. Eight. Step 18. Okay, 
item that are um, the painting of the figures, placement of the figures, and uh, painting options. Okay. Right. So I'm going to do it as second SS Panzer Division, since my last couple of now have been second SS Panzer Division. Let, let's kind of carry on a trend with that. Okay. Um, the main colour I'm going to use will be Panzer Grey, and I will be giving it a winter whitewash. Okay. So therefore I'll be using the uh, the hairspray. I'll be rubbing Mrs. Moore's hairspray, and um, I'll be giving it doing the hairspray technique on it. Well, I did a little bit of a white lie there. I'm not rubbing Mrs. Moore's uh, hairspray. I went out and bought my own. Yes, I did. I bought some hairspray. Some nice Harmony hairspray. Okay, so I have a fresh kind of hairspray there for uh, for doing this and doing the, uh, the, the, the hairspray technique on that. So that's it, lads. That's the unboxing. Hope you liked it. If you did, give it the old thumbs up. Don't forget to stay tuned to the channel for the build of it, okay? Um, I'll be doing putting up the build updates as soon as they're done. Uh, usually build update number one is the building of the vehicle. Uh, build update number two then will be the, uh, the painting, the detailing and all that kind of thing. And the final reveal will all be in that one as well. So, stay tuned to the channel for those. Uh, don't forget, hit the bell. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and if you have thank you very very much I do appreciate it I really really do so in the meantime go out and buy yourself a kit build it and enjoy it so John signing off and saying I'll catch you in the next one Les. stay safe and uh, enjoy your modelling <laughs>